Okay, this is the patching section of the Enlightened Training Level 1. We're going to talk about patching. So the first thing you want to do is clear the current show. So when you get the software installed, um, there may be some fixtures patched, um, there may be some buttons and palettes. So we need to start a fresh show uh, to indicate that we're going to patch the fixtures that we specifically want to control. So the first thing we're going to do is hit new light show and we're going to confirm that we want to clear the configuration and start a new show. So we'll call this demo one. Okay. <clears throat> so now that I've loaded or cleared the configuration, I have my new show called demo one. I have no fixtures patched and no buttons. So the next step is to actually patch some fixtures. We're going to go to the patch icon, select load patch new fixture. And then here you'll see a list of manufacturers. You're going to select the manufacturer. Then you can scroll down and select the particular fixture. Keep in mind that many fixtures have multiple modes and you want to make sure to patch the mode that you would like to use the fixture in. And so we're going to go ahead and patch this baby color seven channel. We're going to select the fixture to patch. Um, automatically you'll be on universe one and you will start um, on one because all your channels are available and we're going to go ahead and use the left right arrows and we're going to patch 10 of these baby colors. We can leave all these other options automatic and select load patch fixture. We can now additionally patch more fixtures and I'm going to select um, the spot bot here. So I'm going to select fixture to patch and let's say we have four of those. And again, you'll see these are filled up now, these first um, 70 channels, because we patched the baby colors on them. The next available channel is 71. We're going to patch four spot bots. And again, keep everything default. And that's it. Once we're done patching, we can now go over to the patch window or the fixture layout window and move the fixture icons as they are laid out on stage. So the idea of our fixture view is to lay the fixtures out on stage as you would have in, in real um, on the fixture view. This helps you find fixtures quickly and select them as you need them. Finally, once everything has been patched and you have all the fixtures wired up from the DMX interface and uh, chained together, you will need to address each of the fi uh, fixtures physically on the actual fixture. And you'll need to make sure it's in the correct mode and it's on the right start channel. The way the software tells you um, what that value is, is by double clicking on each of the fixture icons. So for my first baby color, I'm going to see that the star channel is channel one and I'm in seven channel mode. So I need to set that physical fixture on star channel one and in seven channel mode. And again, I can repeat that process for my second baby color. The star channel is eight. And again, make sure the fixture is in the same mode. Um, once you set all the addresses and you've um, connected the DMX cable, you should then have control of your fixtures. Coming up next, we'll talk about programming mode and then uh, talk about building your first queue.